It has been quite a long journey, uh, taking, uh, you carry your drugs everywhere and you make sure you take them in time. But uh, I've come through that, I've been strong. I decided I, be, I accept and live on and be strong for my kids. Not that I won't be having the drugs in my bag anymore, no one will realize I'm positive. And this one will also make people who are still hiding themselves to come out and go take the drugs because they're afraid, they're afraid to go, go for, uh, for, for drugs because of rejection and discrimination or even stigma from your own family. I'm ready to go for it and I'm looking forward to go for it yeah. because I'm closer now. I'm, it's like I'm closer to, to living like a normal person. Yeah. Like uh, it's, no longer, it's no longer a threat anymore to my life. Yeah. ART is lifelong. Um, you have to take medication every day. You have to be adherent to take the medication the same day every day. And sometimes some patients experience drug fatigue. Um, they experience drug fatigue and also they experience a lot of stigma around mm -hmm. HIV. Sometimes it's not because other people know about it, but because of the way they feel about uh, living with the virus. Um, we've had instances where we've had shortages in the ART because of um, some donor issues or some issues with, with the government and clearing the medication. So if you had injectable ART, you'd probably have better follow-up of our patients, yeah, better care provided to the patient because at the end of the day, what the donor is interested in is to make sure that you're spending uh, the money wisely and you're taking care of the patients well. We actually have uh, adolescents who stop taking ART when they're in boarding school. So for these adolescents who are in boarding schools or even young people who are in campus, it would be very easy to have the medication on um, a monthly basis and just have the injection and nobody would know that they're even living with the virus. Okay. 